this, everyone, is where East meets West and technology meets tradition. We're still in the early phases here of this work, and you can see glimpses of what's to come. There's going to be a place to be. Amax, of course, all kinds of spots to eat and do shopping and all of that. It's going to be a great experience as we continue to tell new stories in Disney California Adventure. Over across the street, we're also making great progress on the reimagining of Disney's Paradise Pier Hotel. And I am excited to share for the first time that its new name will be Pixar Place Hotel. This hotel is going to be super, super fun. You'll feel like you walk right into a Pixar art gallery. You'll see new interpretations of favorite characters like Woody, Buzz will be there, Mike, 22, Miguel, Dante, and all the, the Disney Pixar characters that you can think of. Of course, Pixar, Pixar's artistry will be the core of this totally refreshed experience. It's going to include fantastic communal areas like this Finding Nemo themed splash pad. The hotel is going to feel completely new. Now, I'm going to take you over to downtown Disney, where we have some big plans to introduce more than a dozen new and reimagined locations. You can expect a bunch of new options for shopping and dining that will showcase Southern California culture. And we've already shared that Michelin star chef Carlos Gaitan is bringing his vision for Mexican cuisine to Centrico and Paseo. And we're also excited that Din Tai Fung will join the district with its flavorful Chinese cuisine. You're seeing for the first time a concept, a piece of concept art uh, that I think is coming along really well and looks cool. We have several other announcements planned for the next uh, year and into the future, but I want you to be the first to hear this one. We're bringing a Southern California favorite to downtown Disney. It's a place that I love and I hope you love. It's Portos. Oh, we got some Portos fans in here. Now, for, for those of you that have, in fact, experienced Portos, you know, you know this. This bakery is famous for its sweet pastries and its treats and its savory Cuban food and, and all the incredible desserts that they have. And trust me, it is all delicious. Now, some of you, I imagine, some of you out there in the audience might be wondering, well, what is this all about? Let me just say this. It's really good. Now, when you try it, you are going to love it. And you know what? You're not going to have to wait long because we are giving you all a special treat from Porto's today. On your... But, but, don't run out and get it right now, okay? We've got a lot more to share before you get those pastries. And speaking of running, that reminds me, the last time that we had a Run Disney race for the Disneyland Resort, when was it? Does anybody remember when the last one was? 2017. Well, the races are coming back. The races are coming back. In 20, 2024, we're gonna have a lot more details on that, the registration, all the fun stuff that comes along with that. But listen, I can't wait to see everybody out there again. I can guarantee you I will be out there running with you all. So as you can tell, we've got a lot of excitement happening across the whole Disneyland Resort. And let's please not forget, it all started with us. We are going to celebrate Mickey and Minnie and their best pals in a whole new way at Mickey's Toontown at Disneyland Park. The highlight, of course, will be Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. I'm guessing some of you have experienced before. It's already a huge hit at Disney's Hollywood Studios in Florida. And of course, we're going to make some very special adjustments to ensure that this version it fits perfectly into our Toontown story. Today, you're getting a closer look at the attraction with these brand new renderings from inside the El Capitoon Theater. And no matter when you met Mickey for the first time, there's going to be something in there for each of you from Steamboat Willie to Mickey Mouse Club to his desk at Mickey's Christmas Carol all the way up to the present day. It is going to be a celebration of all things Mickey, which I love. I think some of you might know. I'm a huge, huge Mickey fan. 
Now, this reimagining of Disney's Toontown, it's gonna be fantastic. We are really stepping into a new era of inclusive experiences in this land of families for all ages. Now, I know from some of you out there that there was some concern that poor Donald is gonna lose his favorite problem. <laughs> Rest assured, everyone, it's still there. Here's a first look at, at a new rendering that we have where you can see he's crashed it into Goofy's pond. And here, in this new rendering, you can see one of the silliest areas of new Goofy's How to Play Yard. It's a fun, interactive sound garden where little ones will discover new ways to make all kinds of noises. These new experiences will join existing favorites in Mickey's Toontown when the land reopens in early 2023. I can tell you, I've had a chance to walk around there a lot. This place is going to be great. So, let's go from Toontown, and we're going to head over to New Orleans. You all know this. I've, I've, I have loved talking about Tiana's Bayou Adventure. This is our reimagined attraction to set uh, it's set up to open at Disneyland and Walt Disney World in late 2024. Uh, and I'm just, I'm thrilled that we're bringing a new Tiana story to our life, uh, to life in, in our parks. And to tell you a little bit more about that, I want to hear from some of the Imagineers who are leading this project. So everyone, please welcome Carmen Smith, welcome Sharita Carter, and Ted Robredo. 